All right, so welcome everybody back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to introduce, or not introduce, I guess people should know about this already, but this is the RevD <clears throat> ASL front lower arms for RWD Drift, which is rear wheel drive drift from uh, RevD. So I haven't tried these yet. I figured, you know what, why not give them a shot? And I'm going to use them on, of course, my main uh, chassis. Oh, got my lights there stuck on it. So I'm going to use them here on this chassis. And right now, as you can see, I'm running the stock arms, which, you know, I can't really complain about the stock arms. They've, they've done me good work, you know what I mean? No complaints at all. Alright. So, as you can see, well, the camera kind of shows it that they're kind of towed up, but I think it's because of. I'm in super wide mode because it's. Uh, I'm recording on my GoPro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let me see if I can get another angle for you guys. So here is the other angle, I guess, that's better from up top, as you can see. So I got a little bit toe up, but not too much, but there it is, All right? And this is my angle here, All right? As you can see, which is not bad with the stock Yokomo lower arms. So I'm going to try them out right now and see if it works. So obviously I gotta take my shocks off. Need my two mil for that. Okay, so what comes in? Move that over here, move that there. I don't need that anymore. So, what comes in the lower arm? You get instructions, of course, and you get turnbuckles. Oh no, uh, do not use aluminum turnbuckles which are weaker than titanium turnbuckles when it was. When it was broken, it cannot be released from lower arms. Oh, really? So you need titanium turnbuckles. Uh oh Please use Yokomo Lunsford? Lunsford titanium turnbuckles? I have no idea what those are. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I need to release this guy. Oh, no, he's a uh, one, I believe. Oh, where's my one mil? For my 1.5, I should say. Yeah, 1.5. Yeah. Should be all it needs. Yep. Oh. There goes my spacer. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. So I have a spacer inside here. One of the secrets is is if you hit walls or somebody hits you and stuff like that, when you have these in, in there, even with this, with the grub screw holding it, it could still slide. So what you do is you find the positioning you want and by putting spacers inside, and then you put this behind it to the position you want. So you obviously you just, you put the right amount of spacers in it to get to your position, then you lock it up that way. No matter how many times somebody hits you or you hit a wall, if you're new, you're crashing, this won't move. It's a little secret. I believe there's only one in there. Oh no, there is another one in there. Ah, there it is. 
So these are the spacers that I had inside here. Don't need those. So put those over there. Actually, I don't even need this art. I just need these. That's all I need. So this is my right one. Oh, what do these have left and right turns? I believe this should be my left. Oh, it's hard to tell. Actually, this is my. This one's my love right side, so let's see here. Oh, well, it's sorry, I'm so it, uh, it says Rev D there, so obviously it can't go this way. It has to go like that. So it has to, and it, and it points towards the front, doesn't point towards the back. So it's, it goes there, so it'll, it should match up with the same angle as the old one if I line it up. Yep, yeah, there you go. So this is my left one, which doesn't matter where I took the things off. You still need them. So you just replace there. Throw that on. Throw that on. Oh, it's a tight fit. Or a firm fit, I should say. Oh, is this one not going in? Oh, there you go. Just to get it in straight. There you go. Oh, everything's just sliding off on me. There you go. So that's the one for the right. Oh, I forgot I just don't need to attach this guy. Oh, no, I just realized. How does this one work now then, since I don't technically need this one? You need... Oh, you need the turnbuckles. Oh, I don't think I have those. Uh, shoot. Do I have those? I need the turnbuckle, and this will connect to the turnbuckle at the end. Which I don't believe I have. Let me see if this lines up to the distance that I run it at, because I still want to keep it to my specification. Yeah, there it is. So you turn the turnbuckle in there, and you run your length. So there you go. I don't think I have turnbuckles. Oh, I guess I got to make a run to the store through the magic of YouTube. I have the piece. Actually, this is two days later, the recording. Yeah, two days later. So this is what you need. Or, oh, well, it won't focus. Oh, sorry, guys, those seem, don't seem to focus. Uh, I don't know why it was as well. It doesn't want to focus. Oh, sorry about that, guys, but it's... The Yokomo 16 millimeter hard steel turn buckles, black. Right, 16 mil. So, I think you can see it from here. If not, I'll see what I can do. Uh, so, I already made one because I forgot that I was like, oh yeah, I was recording, making a video for this. So, the finished product, this is where we left off. I was checking back my videos, this is where we left off last time. Uh, this is what the finished product looks like. So the, the turnbuckle goes in there, and then you put your um, your knuckle, which was which was here that I took out. Just put it here, right? You just gotta take you just gotta take this off. That's all you gotta do, which was uh, here, like this. All right, this was in here, all the way there. You just gotta take that off. All right, this, this is the piece that was in here. Take that off. Move that over. So you grab your turnbuckle. All right, and this is again. This is you don't have to use the turnbuckle. You could use um, the grub screws if you have like a long one. I believe I have one on my steering arm here. Yeah, if you have like a. The only difference from a grub screw is the grub screw doesn't have this part here. So you can see. You can see that part there for adjustment. The grub screw won't have that. It's just straight thread. So you just put it on your, you would put it on your, um, 
Oh my god, what do you call these again? Oh, I forgot what they're called again. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. But they go on here. Just turn them on. Turn them in, whatever. And then from there, you just turn this guy in here, right? That's if you're using this grub screw. Because I'm using this guy, you have to watch out for the threads. Because this, one, this only has one-way threads, right? So you have to make sure that you put the right one. See how I'm turning it? Righty-tighty. Oh. Lefty-loosey, right? It's not turning in. Oh, this one's turning in. Perfect. So that's the one that needs to go in. If I to do the other side. See it? It won't go in. Yeah, it won't go in. Alright. So you gotta watch out for that. So again, so you gotta make sure you test. Oh, no, wrong side. There's a the side, perfect. So this is the side that's gonna go on the arm and this one here. This is gonna go on this. There we go on the turnbuckle. Right. Then I'm gonna turn him in all the way. This is just my little technique, doesn't mean you have to do it. So that this is the way I do it. Because I want to make sure that this gets centered straight up, not in an angle or any way. So I, once I get him all the way in. Oh, look at that. I got lucky. So, oh, so you can see I'm just a little bit off an angle, so I have to come back this way. Just a tad bit. But for me, I don't want to turn this guy back. I'd rather turn here, right? So, I just have to turn back this guy a little bit just to make space. And I'm just going to turn here back a bit. Like this is, like I said, this is honestly your preference you can just put it all the way in and just come back from here I always like to zero everything out so I like to make sure when this is all the way in this guy is centered all the way in that way that way if I ever have to adjust or tune for my tuning perfect everything's straight when I use my um, my key here to twist if I want more if I want to get you know more more angle or, you know more camber whatever uh, I know that this and this will be perfectly centered straight all the way. So that's the reason I do it. I've already put the small little screw in here to tighten it up. Alright, not too tight. It's tight enough. So that's what the, the finished product looks like. Fully assembled, of course. Alright, and remember, the Rev D logo with this part here for your, shock, for your shocks. So this will be my... Um, on my car from the right side this one obviously be my left side so, uh, let's see here now the next video will be a running video of this so i'll show you guys my exact my exact uh settings because i need the pit mat i have the pit not the pit mat sorry the the oh my god what do you call it the calibration or the adjustment stance you put on your take the wheels off you hook it up so it tells you your camber your toe everything front and rear so my rear stays the same so i'll leave that but the front i need to put them on so i can adjust and make sure everything's square but yeah all right guys thanks for watching this video and i uh catch you guys on the the next one hopefully it's not too long from uh, from now but yeah thanks for watching